All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to get some medication out of a glass ampule. So that's this right here. Definitely make sure you're careful because it is glass, so it does become a sharp. Um, I've seen a lot of people when they break it, they break um, the, the glass in a gauze. Some people use alcohol, make sure that you're doing it. However, your facility tells you to do it. I like to put the glass in here and then I rotate it a little bit. That helps clean that um, top. And then always break glass away from you, never towards you. So as I push it, I pop it like that. This needs to go straight in your sharps container. So we got rid of that in the sharps container. Now we've got the ampule here. Make sure you see that it's face up. When you guys actually draw medication, you need to make sure, I'm gonna put this right here, it is a filter needle, because as you broke that, there is a chance that glass got into the medication, so you wanna make sure it doesn't get into your patient. So you take your syringe, and make sure you open this very carefully, that way you can just put the two pieces together. Okay, now when you go to take this off, remember you don't wanna actually poke your fingers, so don't lift up that. You're going to put the filter needle in just like so. Draw up however much medication your doctor has ordered. Okay, and then pull this straight back out. This will go into the sharps. Now, when you actually go to recap your needle, remember we don't just recap the needle, you always do that scoop method. So I'm going to put the needle in like this and lift it up. Now, if you have difficulty doing that, you can, I'll just use this as an example, put something against it to give you that little bit of leverage. Then, to secure your cap on, make sure you only grab down here to secure it. If you grab up here to secure it, you risk that needle going out of the side, so we wanna make sure to avoid that. Then, I would go into my patient's room with this, and you're gonna get your other syringe, that way you can change out from that blunt tip to a regular needle. Make sure you look at the right size and the right length. So the size gauge, remember that's how big the needle is and the length is how long it is. Uh, make sure you get the right one for whatever kind of medication you're giving it, whether it be subcutaneous or intramuscular, and make sure that it's appropriate for your patient. So you will open this up like so. Make sure you don't touch anywhere there. And unscrew that blunt needle you're gonna take the two and put these together. This is still a needle, goes in the sharps. Okay, then you're ready to go inject your patient. So make sure we get rid of all that air and then make sure you do your five rights of medication or your six rights of medication and do all of your checks.